Okay, I'll just show you how to set the sat nav in this uh, 2013 Hyundai iX35. So, basically, from from any screen, uh, if you click nav there, that brings up the, um, the the menu screen. If you just want it on map, if you just want to see what's coming up ahead, the the map switch is there. But nav there. So you've got address, last destinations in address book, points of interest, and parking. So we want address. Down here, you've got city, country, postcode. We'll click postcode. We're Grosvenor Garage, Chorley Road, Wantley Dale, Preston, P, R. It's defaulted to numbers straight away, so that's good. Five, four, J, S. Here are five, four, J, S. So even though you've just typed it in, you've got to touch that. And you can now put a house number in, um, which we haven't got a number, but uh, that's it. And then it's, again, it's gone to another screen and you've got start there or new search. So we'll click start. And start again. Starting route guidance. <laughs> it's got like a safety catch start. You've got to press start twice. Anyway, it's, it's a good system. It, it's simple enough to use. Okay, I'll just show you how to delete a mobile from the Bluetooth audio system in this 2013 Hyundai iX35. So, any screen, you've got the cog symbol there, the menu, we'll click the menu. You've got Bluetooth, flu view, <laughs> easy for me to say, view Bluetooth device list, search for Bluetooth devices, external devices, change passkey. So we want to view Bluetooth device list and you'll see there it's come up with my phone showing mine's the only one in it at the moment and there's a dustbin next to it so we click that do you really want to delete again a safety catch so you don't do it wrong and uh, that, that's it gone we, we go back into view there's, there's no devices okay I'll just show you how to pair mobile to the Bluetooth audio system in this 2013 Hyundai iX35 the first thing that we need to do is make sure Bluetooth is on and then we're watching out at the bottom here. Over to the audio system, map, nav and then there's a cog here which is if you press that or a cog symbol and you've got Bluetooth. View Bluetooth device list, search for Bluetooth devices. So we click search and then as I say we're watching out at the bottom here searching for a maximum of eight Bluetooth devices and it's come up with my phone there so Barry's iPhone we click on that and just wait key zero 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 um, so we have to put that in here click pair allow contacts and favorites to sync and it's connected Bluetooth authorization successful so that's that's how you do that now it also has another a, a great feature it has Bluetooth audio streaming which is great all your music on your phone as soon as you get in it so long as you've got the right button clicked it, it will stream fo audio from your phone through the speakers in the car so we'll go to iTunes well we would do if we press the right one so we'll go to iTunes there you see at the bottom iX35 there you go there's a tick next to iX35 or, which means anything that this phone plays any music whether it be Spotify YouTube the audio will come through the speakers in here if you've got it set correctly so what I'm going to do here I'm going to turn my phone down and I'm going to control the audio the, the volume from my phone then we go over to media click the media button and it, it's come on to Bluetooth straight away uh, mainly because you'd probably have a choice you might have to click media a couple of times if you had anything plugged into auxiliary or the USB down here so here it's playing I'll turn it up on the radio and then there you go that's it playing thanks for watching